I remember losing a very important deal to someone else uh, <clears throat> in the early, very early days. Uh, and that was a Disney deal because uh, we, John West, who was the head of the West Coast, uh, had a close relationship with the Disneys and he introduced me to them and I became very close to Walt and, and Roy and we made the deal for Disneyland, for NBC. And uh, uh, in the Mickey Mouse Club, which was gonna be the first television show, we, it, it had even gone so far that uh, we had assigned a producer to that Mickey Mouse Club for NBC, a fellow named Tom McKnight, who was uh, one of our producers and who was the producer of uh, The Life of Riley, William Bendix. And Roy Disney, who, was, who handled all the business, Walt didn't do any business, Roy was the businessman. He went back to New York to meet with Pat Weaver, who was then the president of NBC, and for reasons which I don't know to this day. Uh, Pat Weaver, Weaver either kept them waiting or didn't see him or I don't know what happened, but they didn't get together at the appointed time and Bob Kintner, who was then president of, NBC, of ABC, came across the block and met with uh, Roy Disney and he had a check in his hand and he gave him the check for ABC's participation in Disneyland, and we lost the deal, and ABC got it. And <clears throat> the amount of the check was only $500,000. And Walt didn't like dealing with ABC, and he wasn't happy with ABC for the two or three years that they were together. And he bought ABC out three years later for $12.5 million for that $5 million, the 500000 and came back to us, and we made the deal with with Disney and NBC had the Disney show for many years. Yeah. <clears throat> but, and I had a close relationship with the Disneys for, you know, as long as they were around. So it wasn't but, such a colossal... Well, it was, it hurt at the time, but it turned out all right, ultimately. Yeah. But those things happened. 